So I've been seeing people on YouTube do their own devlogs on their dream games, and I wanted a piece of that pie because I'm kind of hungry. I have a few projects in the works, but this is one that I'm particularly excited about because it's a new challenge for me. Plus, I want to fluff out my resume with things other than a Java calculator and C++ Connect 4. Imagine you're trying to hire a guy and he said he made a calculator in Java like, no shit you did. That was project three for every comp sci student sophomore year. With that being said, I bring you Labyrinth Nights. Labyrinth Nights is a first-person roguelike dungeon crawler that has a similar description to many others on itch.io and Steam, with the big difference being that it's made by me. I started off by sticking with my preferred engine, Unity, because it's been with me since the quarantine, and considering the challenge was already jumping from 2D to 3D, I didn't want to overwork myself. I watched a few tutorials about basic 3D movement and then tried my own hand at it and came up with something nice. However, I didn't want the entire project to just be tutorial and copy it. So after movement, I added a sprint mechanic and a crouching mechanic with minimal research, and I felt like a king doing that. I initially did all this with the capsule just to get an idea of how movement is going to be, but then I had a brain blast and realized that I hated the idea of running around looking like this. So, I finally did the thing I told myself I was going to do years ago, and picked a blender, and it was not bad at all. The biggest hurdle was figuring out what any of these things meant, which was easily remedied by making a few test models like Zim and his robot companion, Gurr. If you don't know where these two are from, you're not real. But back on topic, I then spent a week making the model of the player. I was really inspired by Castle Crashers and how simple the main knights look while also being unique in their color schemes. So I took my main dummy, added some armor to him, put a bucket over his head, put some eye holes in there, and then dubbed him the Bucket Knight. Instead of adding color to him, I wanted to let the player decide their color to make them unique. I love customization in games, so why not add it to my own, you know? That's the beauty of game development. You like it, you make it. I went ahead and imported the model to Unity, almost cried because I forgot to make dude not humongous for some reason, re-imported it, and then got happy, but then got sad again because dude can't move. And I don't mean like move around because you can already do that, but I mean like in animation. Perfect save. I wouldn't consider myself a great animator, but I'm pretty good, so I started studying animation on how to make stuff move. When I was a kid, I watched a lot of stick figure animations like Zhao Zhao, Shock, Shock More, which are sick by the way, go watch those. And I had already made a bunch of stick figure animations, so I had a pretty good background in it, so I just wanted to transfer that to 3D. To get used to that, I downloaded Miku Miku Dance to make some animations like this one. Look at her walk. Like, where is she going? Then I got the confidence to try it in Blender, and it turned out pretty alright. The character now had a bunch of different animations like walking, running, jumping, crouching, attacking, and other animations. I eventually want to add some like Fortnite dances, I think those would be funny. It was even simpler putting them in Unity and syncing them up to the player's movements. So all in all, this part went very very well, surprisingly. Next, I wanted to make the player UI actually work, so I made a few scripts, studied my own code for another project, wink wink, to recreate a health bar. I also wanted to make the player have a face cam in game like in Doom where you can see the Doom guy go like, huh? What's over there? Or he 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 he, I'm evil. <laughs> or I, I don't know, I don't know what this is. So for now I use a couple pictures of Kanye because my friend won't draw the bucket knight. I typed up some more code and made the character be able to gain health, lose it, and even die. And when you die, you get a random death message. If you have an idea for one, leave it in the comments. I might use it if it's funny. If it's not funny, you're big. Like I said earlier, I've been working on this since December, but never did a video for it because college is a scam. So I'll spread these out and do another one focusing on enemies, world design, dungeon generation, and all the stuff I added much later, but for now that's it. Don't wishlist the game on Steam because it's not there yet. Consider listening to the music I've made for the game on my channel or even buying the soundtrack on Bandkit. I'm gonna add some more songs to it if I end up thinking of more songs, but for now, that's what you're gonna get. I don't know how to end these, so I'll just see you later.